Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be making a very versatile and easy dish. It is going to be cheesy sausage puffs. So come along with me and let's get started. So the reason that these are so versatile is because they come in a nice little bite size ball or puff and you could use these as an appetizer if you're having a Halloween party or uh, upcoming holiday party. It could also be used as a breakfast dish or after the festivities are over and you have people staying over for breakfast the next day. Additionally, you could make these as part of your dinner, which is what CJ and I are going to be doing this evening and we are going to be serving with marinara sauce but these would be good with ketchup or salsa or barbecue sauce, any kind of dipping sauce, or just on their own. There's very few ingredients and they're quite quick to make and you could actually make these ahead of time and either freeze them or keep them in the refrigerator and then pop them in the oven later and they only bake for about 25 minutes, so it is pretty speedy. So let's go ahead and get started. So your first steps for your cheesy sausage puffs, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Also going to need a skillet and I have sprayed mine with a little bit of avocado oil spray. And you're also going to need a baking sheet with either a silicone liner or parchment paper cut to fit. To begin with one pound of Italian sausage. So our Italian sausage is fully cooked. It took about 10 minutes. And I'm just breaking it up into smaller pieces so that we get sausage in all of our puffs and we don't have just one big glob of sausage. Okay, so we're just gonna set that aside for a minute. In a large bowl, I need about two ounces of cream cheese. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of cheddar. And we are going to microwave this for about 30 seconds. Okay, to that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm going to microwave that for about another 10 seconds. So I'm going to stir this mixture around a little bit and just get our cheeses and cream cheese incorporated. Make sure everything's well blended. I'm going to put our sausage into this mixture. I need to add three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese. So it's one cup total for this recipe. A quarter went in before and now this is three quarters going in. I need one cup of almond flour. I need a teaspoon of baking powder. Just a pinch of salt. And one egg. just going to combine all of this together. And that's why you want a large bowl so that you can really combine everything together well. We have a nice well combined mixture. I am now going to season this a little bit. You do not have to season it if you don't want to but I'm going to add a little bit of savory flavors. This recipe is nice because you could make this as a breakfast dish or you could make this as an hors d'oeuvre appetizer to serve at parties or you could make it as a dinner. I'm going to be putting a little bit of oregano and it's just to taste, just a couple of dashes because we are going to be having ours for dinner. And I'm also going to put in a little bit of ground sage in keeping with the sausage. Okay, and I'm just going to incorporate that. Okay, 
there's our mixture. Now here is where we get our cookie sheet out. And like I said, I have mine lined with a silicone baking pad. If you don't have one of these, you could use parchment paper. That would work as well. I'm going to use my handy cookie baller to make little balls for our sausage puffs. And I'm just going to start scooping and putting them on our sheet. We are going to be baking these for about 20 to 25 minutes in our preheated 400 degree oven. Okay, there's our puffs. And I'm going to put these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I will show you what everything looks like. Okay, it's been 25 minutes and I'm going to take them out. There they are, nice and golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and put my second batch in. My batch of dough made 24 puffs, but it all depends on if you use a cookie baller or a spoon, how many puffs you'll get out of your dough. Hi. Tonight it's uh, cheesy sausage puffs. Okay. And you put a little marinara on yours. Yeah, because these can be eaten for breakfast or dinner. We're going to have these for dinner. So I put some marinara sauce, or actually it's pizza sauce. Yes, because it's the lowest carbs. Because it's the lowest <laughs> carbs. So the keto police don't come and get us. <laughs> so, uh, I want to try it both ways. You got a naked one on your plate, too. Hmm. They're good. Surprisingly good. I wouldn't say surprisingly with my cooking. Well, <laughs> you have to admit, those aren't like really super attractive looking. <laughs> A lot of my dishes aren't, especially the casseroles. Well, I know that, good. but I expect casseroles not to be <laughs> attractive. But these are good. So ugly on the outside, yummy on the inside. Yeah. So that was with the marinara's, I mean the pizza sauce. Okay. They're crunchy. Yep. They actually might be better without the sauce. I think they stay crunchier. Mm-hmm. I think I like them better without the sauce. Okay. So I did cover some with sauce, mainly for taking pictures, but I think I actually like them better without the sauce. You heard it here, folks. So, like I said, they aren't pretty, but they're good. They are really good. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the sausage puffs as much as we are going to. Please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new content. We try to upload our new recipes on Sundays. We also upload on Wednesdays, and generally that's Keto Conversations. Sometimes it's ketogenic food unboxings. Occasionally we also have what we eat on keto that also goes out. So please hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on our new content. We are also on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and a lot of times we release teaser recipes about the foods that we are preparing for that week, and also foods that we've made before and are eating again in our personal lives. 
So definitely check out our social platforms. We hope that you'll come back and see us again. And until that time, have a good night.